So we're talking about the pen bend, pen, pen buttons maneuver. All right, pen button. Pen buttons maneuver. So for this pen buttons maneuver, it's also known as what pen button sign. Pen button sign. So it's just very simple. All right, you are trying to check out for superior venal cava syndrome. So the patient has to raise their hand like this. When they raise their hand, this is what happens. Their arms were down. The neck was not enlarged. But because they raise it now, you are now seeing the enlargement properly. You understand? So Pemberton sign is, or maneuver is just a clinical test just to diagnose for superior venal cava syndrome and other conditions that cause compressions at the thoracic inlet. So procedure is positioning. So the patient is asked to what, raise both arms above their head until the forearms touch each other on the sides of the face. Right, observation. So the clinician will now be observing the patient for about one minute. So they said that during the test, the patient raised both arms above their head for one minute. So this maneuver leads to facial flushing. Can you see how this guy is, his face is now becoming red? Or the skin can be bluish. That's the face will be flushing, but the rest of the body can become bluish and they'll have difficulties in breathing, right? So it can indicate obstruction of the superior venal cava. Okay. So um, if it is positive. You see facial congestion and sinuses as a facial flushing, there'll be redness or bluish discoloration of the face due to restricted blood flow. Then the patient will also be finding it difficult to what? Breathe. Okay? So it can be used in diagnosing what superior venal cava syndrome, thoracic outlet syndrome, thyroid disorders. Right? So that's it for the pen buttons maneuver.